Robert begins to feel the pressures of becoming a manager. Preceding the video conference, Paul confronts Sally with his plan to protest Robert's promotion. Tensions begin to rise. Sally, you can't seriously believe that Robert deserved that promotion. I've already started a... Robert just stop right there. I understand you have worked hard for that position, but Robert is a great doctor as well, and my friend. I think he'll do a great job. This is absurd. Just because his patients pay more money, he gets a promotion. I am here 30 minutes before him every day. My patient satisfaction rating is higher than his, and I'd be... Robert please, you are making a scene. If this is how I'm going to be treated, I am going to... Robert, can I speak to you in patient room number 3 please? Oh great. Alright boss man. Paul, you have every right to be upset about the district manager's decision. You are a great doctor and you have been working very hard for a promotion. Well, at least you got something right today. Look Paul, you know as well as I that the company is expanding. You are more than qualified to apply and receive any of the upcoming advancements. Outbursts like the one we just had with Sally will affect your reputation poorly, and certainly stunt your opportunity for growth. What do you say we bury this? I cannot take back the district manager's decision, but I will do everything I can within my new position to assist in your advancement. How does that sound? I do apologize for my outburst, and I will make sure to let Sally know as well. I was out of character and certainly did not display the professionalism we strive for here in the office. I appreciate you speaking to me one on one. Please give me some time to think on it, today has given me a lot to digest. I understand. Have a good shift today, please let me know if there is anything you need from me. Office tension subsides as Robert and Paul continue about their day. Episode 3 reveals how Robert's approach towards Paul's disturbance affects decision-making at the office.